Also on the top five, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has stressed that an international conference must be held soon in order to make way for a peaceful transition of power in Syria. Kerry said both the U.S. and Russia are seriously committed to the meeting, but acknowledged that it might not be possible until August or later. Kerry made the remarks after he met Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on the sidelines of an Asian security summit in Brunei. A previous agreement was reached in Geneva in June last year. Under that accord, the international community agreed to seek a political transition in Syria. However, Russia accuses Washington of breaching the agreement by recognizing foreign-backed opposition groups and supporting armed men fighting the Syrian government. Mr. George Jabur is a political commentator with me now live from Damascus. Let's get his thoughts on this. Now, Mr. Jabur, a lot of people are saying that the Geneva II conference is very important in bringing about a political solution to the situation in Syria. But how successful do you think this conference is going to be? And what are the obstacles in the way of that political settlement? Well, first of all, it has been delayed. First, it was announced that it will be uh, by the end of May. Now we are talking about August and later. Uh, second, uh, there is a problem with the representation of the opposition. Uh, the opposition is not one group, but then it seems that uh, some uh, states are uh, insisting that all opposition be part of one group. Uh, and uh, this is, of course, a problem. And then third, is it for a political solution or is it for a political transfer of power? Uh, this is something very important. Uh, this means that the agenda of the conference is not quite clear. Uh, fourth, uh, I have to say that uh, there is in uh, the underground, uh, there is continuation of uh, violence. Uh, this violence has to be stopped. Uh, it is better if the conference is held within an atmosphere of peace on earth peace amongst uh, the uh, opposing groups. Uh, so uh, I suppose that uh, these all parties to the conflict have to work on uh, ceasefire first. Yes. And uh, as we are approaching Ramadan, I would call on all parties to proclaim uh, some sort of a, a ceasefire right. on the occasion of the beginning of this holy month. Thank you very much, Mr. George. This is my personal view, of course. Yes, of course. Thank you very much, Mr. Jabur, a political commentator with us there from Damascus with his comments.